ever wondered why you sneeze so much during spring? You're not alone. As the snow melts and flowers bloom, so does the mystery of the springtime sneezes. It's no surprise that the season of growth and renewal can also bring about a chorus of achus. This annual sneezing symphony is often led by an invisible conductor known as hay fever. Hay fever, or to give it its less catchy name, allergic rhinitis, has a knack for turning us into sneezing, sniffling messes. What are the telltale signs, you ask? Well, the sneezing is a dead giveaway. Then there's the itchy, watery eyes, the runny nose that could give the Niagara Falls a run for its money, and a level of tiredness that makes hibernation seem appealing. And let's not forget the endless supply of tissues. Honestly, if you invested in tissue stocks before spring, you'd be a millionaire by now. So if you're turning into a sneezing machine every spring, hay fever might be the unseen enemy. But what exactly is hay fever? And why does it turn us into tissue-consuming monsters, you may ask? Well, let's dive right in. Hay fever, also known as allergic rhinitis, is an overreaction of our bodies to pollen. It's like your body throwing a full-blown tantrum when it meets this harmless visitor. Here's what happens. When pollen comes into contact with your mouth, nose, eyes, or throat, your body goes into full defensive mode. It starts to release histamines, causing the all-too-familiar symptoms of hay fever, such as sneezing, itchy eyes, runny nose, and general misery. Now you might wonder, why me? Well, hay fever is more common in people who have other allergies, such as asthma or eczema. And here's the kicker. It tends to run in families. Yes, folks, hay fever is often a family affair. So if you're a frequent victim of this pesky condition, look no further. That's right, you can blame your parents for this one. But it's not just family genes and spring blooms that have us reaching for the tissues. Let's talk about our beloved pets. Yes, our furry friends can play a part too. You see, pets, especially dogs and cats, shed what is known as dander, tiny, often invisible flakes of skin. And for some of us, this dander can trigger hay fever symptoms. So if you're sneezing and sniffling around your pet, it might not be affection. It could be an allergic reaction. And let's not forget about air quality. Unclean air filled with pollutants and allergens can aggravate hay fever symptoms. It's like throwing a party and inviting all the things that make you sneeze. Not exactly the guest list you'd want. So here's a lighthearted thought. If you can't stop sneezing, maybe it's not the bouquet of flowers to blame, but your dog's latest shedding spree. So next time you sneeze, it might be fluffy you need to look at, not just the flowers. Now that we know our enemy, how do we fight back? Well, let's dive into the world of hay fever treatments where science meets your sneezes. First up, antihistamine tablets. These are the frontline soldiers in the battle against hay fever. Their mission, to counter the effects of histamine, the substance in your body that triggers those pesky symptoms. When histamine is released, it causes inflammation and swelling, leading to all those delightful symptoms like sneezing, itching, and watery eyes. Antihistamine tablets swoop in to save the day, reducing these symptoms and giving you a break from the sneezing and sniffling. Next, we have eye drops. These are essentially reinforcements for your eyes, providing direct relief from itching and watering. They contain ingredients that calm inflammation and soothe irritation, helping your eyes feel more comfortable. And lastly, we have nasal sprays, the cavalry in our hay fever fight. These sprays work to reduce the inflammation in your nasal passages, helping you breathe easier and reducing symptoms like sneezing and a runny nose. Now you might be wondering, are these treatments safe? The answer is a resounding yes. While all medications can have side effects, these treatments are generally safe for most people. However, it's always a good idea to chat with your healthcare provider before starting any new medication. With these tools in your arsenal, hay fever doesn't stand a chance. So, what have we learned today? Hay fever, an unwelcome guest that arrives with the blossoming of spring, can be a result of genetics or a reaction to pets and unclean air. It sneaks up on us with symptoms like sneezing, itchy eyes, and a runny nose. But fret not, armed with understanding and treatments like antihistamine tablets, eye drops, and nasal sprays, we can fight back. By knowing our enemy, we can manage hay fever effectively. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to battling hay fever. Until next time, stay sneeze-free.